Hi everyone, my name is Mary Lou Areño and welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. Thank you for stopping by to watch my video and I hope you will find it useful. So the ultimate goal of my channel is to support educators and those who dream to become a teacher one day. So for today's episode, I'm going to share with you the best strategy on how to answer this infamous interview question. And the question is, can you share your strengths and weaknesses? So for some, describing your weakness is an easy question, but to describe your weakness is a bit challenging in an interview because we always wanted to put our best foot forward to get the job. So it's so hard to describe the area of weakness. So if you are a teacher applicant, how are you going to respond to this question? So let's start first with the area of strengths. So imagine you are the principal. What do you think are the area of strengths you are looking for from a teacher? Definitely the principal is looking for a teacher who has the following characteristics that will translate into an excellent teacher. So I will give you five examples. So the first one is good communication skills. Second one is strong knowledge of content areas. Third, teacher must have excellent classroom management. The fourth one, a teacher should have a good interpersonal relationship. And the fifth one, a teacher must have a consistent attendance and who will report for work every day. So as an applicant, you need to focus on your strengths around these characteristics, the five areas that I mentioned. You need to build up your strength by telling your real story based on your experience as a teacher. You can say, communication is one of my strengths. And of course, you need to describe how you communicate effectively with your students, how you communicate effectively with parents or even with your colleagues. So you have to provide some example or scenarios where you prove that uh, you have good communication skills. You can also claim that you are strong in content knowledge and you can start sharing your success stories in improving your students' academic achievement. And um, you can also mention about your previous evaluation results from your former principal stating that um, that is your area of strength, the uh, content, the knowledge of content area. So you can also claim that you have a strong classroom management skill and describe that you have a zero or very little incident of student behavior problem. So these are the areas of strength that any principals are looking for. And the secret is you need to connect these strengths to your real experiences so you can establish that um, they are also your, uh, your area of strength and you can um, prove the validity that you are, your claim is uh, true. And you cannot just uh, guess of any answer. You have to think hard of your previous experiences. So what about for those teachers that does not have any experience in the past? Well, you can um, recall your practicum experience. You can also recall some of the teaching practices that you um, did in the past and think of those characteristics, the strength in the area of communication, in the area of uh, strong content knowledge, in the area of uh, how to handle classroom management. So if, if you don't really have a previous experience to prove that those are your strengths, you can um, enumerate your studies, your education, that you learned those and um, you were able to, to master and you are ready to implement those best practices. 
So that is the best way to describe your areas of strength is to connect it to the characteristics that the principal is looking for to a teacher who will become successful in the classroom. So now let us discuss how are you going to answer your area of weaknesses? You cannot tell that I do not have a weakness because we know that that is not true. Everyone has a weakness. So you cannot also claim or uh, pretend that uh, some strength is a weakness. Like for example, uh, you cannot say that I am a workaholic and I tend to forget the time when I focus with my job. So that is not a weakness. That is definitely not a weakness. Being a workaholic is uh, in a way a positive thing, but of course, we, as teachers, we do not overdo it. We need to have some time to rest and uh, prepare for the next day. So don't eat your time for today. So uh, you will be tired and cannot perform the next day. So that is not an area of weakness. So what is an area of weakness then? So think of yourself as a teacher and relate those weaknesses or weakness to some areas that do not have a direct effect on the position that you are applying for. Okay, let's say you are applying for an English teaching position. You can claim that your weakness is in the area of mathematics, let's say. So that is why you decided to take English major in college instead of math, because math is your area of weakness. And then you can also mention that uh, you are working on yourself to improve on this area because at times you also need the skills in math, the computer grades and all that. But being an English teacher does not have a significant effect to have a weakness in the area of math. So there is no other direct effect um, in, in your uh, position that you're trying to get. So that weakness is acceptable. It will not affect your rating in an interview for the English teaching position. So this is more realistic than saying, I do not have any weakness or pretend that uh, some strengths are uh, like trying to prove that they are also weakness. So you, you just need to be honest and uh, think of areas of weakness that do not really uh, affect the position that you are applying for. So um, those are my tips in answering an interview question if you are applying for a teaching position. But if you're applying for other jobs, you can also apply this strategy. Just take note that when you are focusing on the strength, Think of the qualifications that the job is requiring and uh, recall your skills, recall your uh, success based on those qualifications and focus on, on those areas of, of your strength. And uh, when you think of weakness, then you always think of a weakness that you have that does not have a direct um, effect or uh, not related to the position that you are applying for. So always remember that. I have to end my video for now. So if you have specific questions uh, that you want me to discuss for the future episodes, or if you have an interview question in mind uh, that you would like to know how to address that or some kind of strategy, how to go about it. So please don't forget to write it on the comment uh, line below. And um, if you can also subscribe to my channel, if you are not uh, my subscriber yet, so you don't miss the future episode, that would be appreciated. So thank you for watching. And I hope you learned some tips on how to answer that particular question. Can you tell me your strengths or your weaknesses? when you encounter that in your future interview. So bye for now and thank you so much. And to God be the glory. Bye, see you on my next episode.